Hello viewers, let's get intimate. There's a random guardian from Breath of the Wild that just shoots lasers at you. <laughs> and right. we all die. We leave. We all managed to shield parry the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys are heading out. Great. Okay, so I guess it's morning. Yep. Yeah. So, well, we're so on, break the dawn. Basically. So we're on our way. We're traveling through. Heading west. All traveling through the field. The really city. <laughs> I so love like that song. Alright. You guys have passed through here and the, the fog is clanging around longer than it probably should. It's a little weird. Are we getting lost? Well, I wouldn't no, roll. Well, yeah. roll for navigation, I guess. That's not a real skill. Yeah, uh, that would be survival. Yeah. Survival. Survival or nature, depending on survival. how you want it. Yeah. Alright, rolling for survival. survival. Eleven. Um, oh wait, wrong guy. Wrong, wrong guy. Dice. Shh, I know my die. Attempt two. You're, you're gonna die. Well, I'm dying. <laughs> That's a twelve. So you That's got a seven. Tw I got twelve. I think that you're on the same path. Not hundred percent, but you're pretty sure you're on the same path. And it's not like the path. It's not like the path deviates very much. It looks very the same. It looks, it looks very similar. the same, but really foggy. And yeah. there's a couple of there's a couple of pools of like really dark black water. It's just really still, and it's like it rained last night, but you don't remember it raining. Rain. The trees seem like they're kind of looming more, a little bit reaching across the road more. Kind of like enclosing us. I'm going to. Maybe a little bit. May I do a perception check? Sure. What are you trying to perceive? Um, just around us in general. Okay. Like behind us, or AD, like plants. Wait, highly or Would you perceive? Yeah. Perception is plus two. Yeah, you have higher plus stats than I yeah, do. It's okay. 13, 13, 15, 20 total. 20. Alright, so you do notice that the fog, it's getting thicker. It's like regular fog and then kind of thick fog and then it's like pea soup. Pea soup. And at a certain point, you can't see more than about 10 feet in front of you. In the background, you just hear, Woo! A hoo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch it <laughs> in a Pokeball. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna pull out my mace. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out my There's daggers. There's several hours down the road now. Yeah. At this point. Still walking. So we keep continuing down the road. Does anything change? I'm gonna roll nature on tree. Sure. I mean, it's trees in general. Just the forest or the forest. Touch a tree. That's. I... Wait, I said. Nature? That's yes. a five. Wow, I definitely know how my roll is going. <laughs> yeah. That's a grand total of five? That's a five. Alright, um, so one of them you're pretty sure looks like those crappy apple trees that from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and then you kind of look at it and it's just a normal tree. Alright, Dom, um, your turn. What you do? <laughs> yeah, my, my roll is I think I crap. should convince you to jump, jump that climb a tree. See, uh, it's very different. I could probably try investigation. Your acrobatics is pretty good. Well, how am I going to use the bags in this situation? Well, let's see. Find trees. Find trees. Will that help at all? It's up to you. So you can get out of the fog bank. Or tell us we're going the right direction. Mm. Yeah, I'll roll for investigation. Okay. What are you investigating? Uh, investigating whether there's so someone or something around us in the fog. So I'm just like, I'd call yeah, it more perception. perception. Yeah. Perception. Yeah. Investigation is if you're looking heavily at like one okay. particular object. So perception, wisdom, and then proficiency bonus. All right. Okay. Let's go for this. Four. Four. Oh. So plus two and then plus two is a total of eight. Notice nothing. No. Nope. <laughs> Still fog. All right. I'm going. Well, this went well. Um. Let's see. I don't know. Oh. Well. What's the plan? Should we just start marking on the tree, see how this goes? I mean, you could. Let's yeah. try that. So, uh, I'm gonna say we so I carve, up, I carve an X on one of the trees with my dagger, and then we see if we pass it again. All right. Did I start it without me? We're in the forest. We're dying. We are in the forest. We, we, we gotta find the master sword. Don't worry, Eleanor. We literally started like 10 minutes ago. No, but I'm saying like, if you guys are in the middle of the forest, you're not gonna meet me, obviously. I mean, maybe uh, all you're in the middle of the forest. All that happened is we right. got a letter saying go okay, here so, pretty much. So pretty much what I do happened. is I, right. I carve an X onto one of the trees oh, with my dagger. Excellent. Good job. And see if we pass it again. And see right. if we Charger mark our Hold that thought. Alright. Dearest Eleanor, would you like to take your seat? 
She's going to break it down. Okay, so you're walking, you're trying to get it. Uh, you head into town and you meet a dude, like, kind of a gypsy looking dude. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to say this. So the courier from Skyrim shows up and he's like, hey, I've got a letter for you. I've been looking for you. I've never played Skyrim. Okay. You just imagine it. Just Imagination. Yeah. It doesn't matter because everybody else knows what I'm talking about. That's me. Yeah. Um, so, but it's the courier. It's just the, the local courier, and he says, "Hey, I've been this, I met this, I met this Vistani guy. And he's been he's been looking for you, and he was, was going to hand this letter to you, but he had to leave town pretty quick last night." By the way, I just said, "When did that happen?" <laughs> <laughs> I took this quick So you know Harry Potter, right? Yeah. You know that chicken pink? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So that kind of awful evil, where it's like I play by. A, a certain set of rules, and I go to, I use whatever means to achieve that. So you're the one that everyone hates. No. I read the one that everyone hates. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Even though she tried to love you and tried to backstab you as much as possible. I mean, you should have strangled me for that so. one. <laughs> Tough love, sister. Anyway. Sure, I have nothing else yeah. better to do. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yo, the, the direction is literally head west on this road for five hours. So you end up going that direction, you get kind of lost. And then we can see a couple of person-shaped, like three or four person-shaped, um, person-shaped shapes. Figure. Figures. There you go. In the mist yes. ahead of you. Okay. Hey, over here! <laughs> and you see a guy touching that wall. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dude that's like carving an X into a tree. Yeah, that would be me. Yeah. See. So so when you get closer, you see two dragonborn and this guy. And this human. This, nor- this, this human, human hand. This, this normie. This normie. Normie over here. What a normie. And here. you want to describe yourself to the group as you happen upon them? So. My name is uh, Gabriella. Um, I go by Gabe for short. Uh, I am an Azimir. Which means that I'm probably as tall as the Dragonborn, aren't I? Yeah. Dragonborn are six to seven feet tall. Yeah. So are Asmar. Well, that's all. But basically, I'm pretty. Do you have any money? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I care about. Um, <laughs> you just may or may not be a moneyed person. I am covered in chainmail. Mm. I get so. I have a giant ass sword. Oh, well, that. not giant, but I have a sword. It's just a sword that's big enough to kill us. <laughs> I have a sword. Um, a sword. Your argument is what else? What else is important? Um, what would you see? Probably just that. Yeah, that's about it. Wearing normal clothing. Just... Anyways, okay. So I said hi to you guys. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Uh, well, we're, I, well, we're, we're trying we're heading to make our west, way. and we got lost. Yeah, and I, and we think we passed this road before, so now, now I'm testing Wait, that. Wait, explain to me what you guys are right now. All right. I guess I go first. I am Zeke. I am a druid dragonborn. So you're a druid and you're lost in the forest. Is that what you're telling me? I blame this guy here for trying to check with nature. <laughs> <laughs> my, my roles have been very crap. What have you tried? Anything? Oh! Yeah, yeah. Already. <laughs> I, totally, I'm already. I totally forgot. Sorry. <laughs> you forgot you were a druid. You are in tune with nature. <laughs> Hey, look, a tree. I gotta check the tree. I am a human. You guys have no excuse. I mean, Dominic is useless. You are not. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Shots fired. Where's the air horn? Actually, what's your name? <laughs> I don't know. He just went with dog. He has no name. Say, to be fair, at this point, you made a meat sack. You literally can, you can only see clearly about 10 feet in front of you. Everything else is just sort of shapes. Dark? It's it's more very foggy. very foggy. It's very foggy. It's like the first thing in the morning. It's I didn't bring like a torch. Yeah. No, it's like noonish. Yeah. It's so. Fine. Okay. I'm going so to... the fact that I have dark vision wouldn't help. Actually, not off. I'm going to check with nature real quick <laughs> to see what's going on. Let's you roll. have nature. Why don't you check with survival? The uh, survival. We with... we've all rolled very poorly. None of us have rolled. We roll kind of bad rolls. I roll with perception and didn't see anything. <laughs> roll with survival. Wisdom is literally. I know. Indeed. You have a plus five. We yes. did earlier. He got like a three. How do you? What? <laughs> I blame him. He got a range little eight. I'm, I'm going, going to God. check. I'm try going, again. I'm going to try again. Yeah. Please get a one so I can laugh at I'm you. I'm gonna get torn of your powers. Eight. Thirteen. 
you haven't, you're not turned around, so you're not going the wrong direction, you know which direction you're going, but you still can't see anything, so you just know that this is west. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have divine sense. Is there anything around, within 60 feet, that's bad? Anything? Evil? There has been one noise as well. Besides him? Yeah, besides me. <laughs> that's 10 besides feet. my thirst for blood. That's three feet. Yeah. Three feet. It feels weird, like... Well, I can detect specifically, like, what directions evil things are within yeah. 60 feet. It's, it's weird, because it's not, like, a source of evil, but just sort of, like, a low-level field of so there's not evil there, residue. But there's no, like, actual directions of there's no. evil this way. Yeah, no. It's okay. sort of, like, a low-level, like, if like if something <laughs> evil touched <laughs> everything in this area yeah. and left, like, a sticky <laughs> residue on it, that's what it means. Let's just go west for two hours. Yeah. If that doesn't work, we'll go backwards. Let's see where we get. Yeah. And Dominic, yeah. mark trees every so often. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. With, like, I don't know, different... With my dagger? No, so but like, different types of marks. Yeah. So, so we like know. a circle and then other shapes, I guess. So we're just going to walk west for two hours. Eventually the mist does kind of clear. Okay. But it's not a familiar landscape. It's... Where are we at? <laughs> there's, it's kind of a valley, almost. Like, there's these two really... Really steep hills, like embankments, kind of on either side of the road, and it just kind of goes. And you can kind of see off in the distance. There's like a gatehouse. It's a gate. I'm gonna a walk big up old to the gatehouse. gatehouse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up to it. Yeah, it's there. It's just, We're gonna is there anything there? <laughs> no. The gate's like slightly ajar. Ajar. Big heavy iron gate. Can I see what's inside? The gate? Is it? Can we check? I mean, there's more stuff inside the gate. Yeah, but like, it's an iron gate, so what yeah. do I see inside the gate? Uh, more, more trail. Just literally more trail. There's yeah, no, no more mist. There's a lot of mist behind you, but there's no more mist in front of you. Yeah, no. And there's nothing. Can I check to see if there's anything in the gatehouse? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll. You kind of like squeeze through the gate, kind of a little bit, and yeah. Uh. Fifteen. Fifteen is do I find anything? No. Perception. It's pretty, That's actually it's pretty run down. No, you can you see that there's like these two big old statues and they're just sort of these standard like guarding statues that are like kind of look like knights. I, uh, I'm gonna write I the number you. next to all these people. Okay. Whee! Nineteen twenty one. This is like clearly like Oh I that was a that was a history. Oh, that was a history. <laughs> Uh, still 19 then for yeah. nature. Yeah, this is clearly like the edge of a domain. This is this is a different country that this is a different country than the one that you were just in. And you're not totally sure where this is because this is not in any map that you've ever seen. I will proceed open through the gate. This doesn't make sense to you. And you can see there's a village kind of off in the distance. You can probably make it there by nightfall. Let's do it. Let's yeah. make it there by nightfall. Yeah, let's, let's go, go there. Yeah. Hey guys, random encounter time. Yay! Do the Final Fantasy music. <laughs> Not that one, the yeah. battle music. Yeah, everybody roll What's a perception it? check for me. I may okay. have eaten my animal. Uh, you could go off a of passive perception. Perception, perception. Yeah. I got a four. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it's more fun this way. I got an eight. Alright, camera. Chris. I got a 16. Chris, but uh, I have an eight on mine. Perception plus seven is perception. 24. Plus okay. two. Two I think I Wait, we picked perception for you? Right? Right. What I was perception. the lowest? Was it you with the lowest? <laughs> yeah, four. So you oh, trip geez. and fall flat on your face over... There's like this leather like bundle on the road. Double check. Well, I tripped over it. You didn't add Let's your open it up. It. So the bundle contains one set of clothes size for a human adult. Can Dominic wear them? Is it a dress? Yeah, he can wear them. Dom, Dom, I'm yeah. handing the bag to you. Okay. You got the extra, like, shitty leather bag, too. Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, make it to the town before there. Yeah. Tall shapes loom out of the dense fog that surrounds everything. The muddy it's ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestones. The tall shapes become recognizable in the village dwellings. Oh. The windows of each house st stare out from the pools of blackness. No sound cuts out the silence. Cuts through the silence. Except for the mournful sobbing that echoes through the sh streets from a distance. Like sobbing, crying. And, and the cries of some wa ravens. Oh, oh, Matt. Uh -oh. There's Matt. I'm the Matt. Yeah. I'm the Matt. You have entered from this side over here. <clears throat> All right. Can we put that down in the middle? Yeah. Just wanted to show it off. All right, gang. So we entered from west. Here. From the east. 
<laughs> Question. Er, you mean at least. Am I on any? There's three rows we can take. Well, we're going towards the crime. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you guys going? Well, the, where's the crime at? The street? The, the north? crime is at E3. E3. Then that's so where we're just, going. But, like, as you're going through, you're like, this place is just dead. You see, dead. like, one or two people. It, it's a ghost town. <laughs> kind of, but there's still Welcome signs of the life. Danger zone. It's just Sorry, nobody's okay. out. Okay. Nobody's out and about. It's just sad. Mm. It's just, like, really... This like, is the most depressing town you've ever been to. I mean, there's definitely people inside, but they're just sort of, like... They're unresponsive. Yeah. They're yeah. just sad. Like, they're doing their own thing, but it's like... It's just One very... more day in the shithole town. So, as you get kind of into this... It's sort of a town square. There's probably a well in the middle of it, and you kind of see that there's about two places that have any light happening. There, to the north, there's... In that big building, there is a tavern. It's the blood on... It's the blood of the vine tavern, but it, it mm, might have yeah. once been blood on the vine, or maybe somebody tried to change it to that at one like, point. Like a vine? Wait here. Blood of the vine tavern. Ah. So probably referencing wine, but... Okay. Yeah. But I'm still going to do towards the sobbing. Yeah. I'm following. So the sobbing is actually in the house just south of that. Or like the next one down. Um, there is a thing. A thing? So a moaning so sob comes through... A moaning sob floats through the still gray streets, coloring your thoughts with sadness. Oh. The sound, the sounds flow from a dark two-story townhouse just south of the mercantile. Um, it's about forty feet aside. It's pretty rundown looking. The windows are all boarded up, and it's coming from inside. Oh. You bang on the door. There's sort of a. It stops for a second, but then it sort of starts up, and there's no real response. I'm worried. I'm going to open the door. Okay. Go in. You open the door and you can kind of go through the house without too much trouble. It's pretty dark. There's not, there might be like one candle. And there's this woman. On... You have a shield? She's... Don't cast light. I'm going to all cast light because I have it as a cantrip. She oh, it's a cantrip in general. <laughs> don't you, don't you have light? <laughs> oh yeah, yes. I, have, I have dark vision. But we can't. We don't. So I can see. You, you can't. Might, Is there any plants I can borrow? <laughs> oh my god. What's Baro? So, <laughs> Baro. Is there a, like so a, there's this sort of dark haired woman. She's got kind of a, she's kind of bundled up like she's probably kind of cold. It's not a particularly warm or inviting place. And she's just sort of crying to herself and she's hugging this doll. Mm. Well, I mean, How okay. old is she? Uh, 40s. Maybe, mm. maybe early 50s. I'm gonna tap on her shoulder? She's still like crying a little bit. she's like stopped and she's sort of what's wrong ask her what's wrong yeah it's everything okay she's, my, my baby's been taken by who by the devil himself Not where yet. she kind of like looks out she kind of looks north and she's like have any other children yeah. been taken she's sort of distraught so she doesn't she's, really she's, quite know what to say she's just like my baby my baby. Huh. Okay, so we've got a missing her. kid. My baby, my baby, the devil has taken her. Uh, she, so would, she wouldn't leave by herself. Nurse. Can't do the voice. No, I just can't. Do you know the child's name? Oh, Gertruda. Uh, Gertruda? <laughs> Ew. What? Ew, what? <laughs> Ew is a name? <laughs> no, what kind of name is that? <laughs> Gertruda. <laughs> like, Gertrude is fine. Yeah. Gertruda. Gertruda. <laughs> Gertruda. I'm going to persuade to console her. Mm -hmm. Knock and knock. 10 uh, plus... 10 plus mm -hmm. 15. 10, 10 plus 15? Well, 10 plus 5, 15. Yeah, okay. Math yeah. is great. So she sort of looks at you and she kind of... She wouldn't have left on her own. <laughs> the, de the devil's straw has taken her to his castle. Oh. Well, that's, that's she, that's he must north. have taken her by force because she would never have gone on her own. How old is your kid? She, she's kind of young. You get, you get the impression that she's probably about Where? 16, 20. Oh. Where is this castle? Um, in the north. North. Yeah. She yeah, said north. north. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> land? <laughs> is it in your land? Like the, this region? She kind of she points and you can kind of see kind of poking out of the mist. Going to a house, we're going to like a, a merchant shop. Yes. <laughs> Let's go there and ask him about his son. A good place to pause for the moment. 